You can beat me out back if my problem is out back. I woke up to, well, we've been having problems here. Some people that have problems with my son, the internet scams on Craigslist. They've been doing this for about a month now. They've been trying to take everything away. It's this morning they came to try to take the fence. A couple of guys was responding to Craigslist. Okay. My, uh, my landlord says I had to, I needed to report it. I guess for their insurance purposes, but they've been trying to take my car. They've had four different people come out here try to take Once my car. Once the policemen are here taking the fence. Because they took off. Once the policemen came here and take the fence. I was asleep. So how do you know it's too yet? I was asleep. I got up, went to the bathroom. I heard some noise. I went and looked out my head to the window. And I told them to put, put stuff back down. And they left. So, <laughs> your, 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 your son has big issues on the internet. Yes. So, did he tell the people to come here to take fence? No, if somebody... Uh, Leonardo attacked me, and then Leonardo attacked Leonardo. Leonardo attacked me, and then Leonardo attacked me. Alright, 20. <laughs> Yeah, there's just big, four different people out here trying to take my car, too. Funny. Funny. Yeah, sir, uh, sorry, I think she was already. Can I get a report, please? For 66428. Six, Got it, thanks. Welcome, 23. Alright, which last one's on? Wilkins. 23, I copy one. Copy 1232. Alright, which source one? I'll get back in there and talk to the officer. What? 530. Okay. Alright, alright. The owner of the house is going to be here. She wants to. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not good. Here's the phone number. What's phone number? And what time does this happen? Oh, about an hour ago. Uh, what do they look like? Eleven four seven. Uh, an older gentleman. White, black. White. That could have been his son or something. How old are they? I say the one was at least in his fifties. The other one maybe in his thirties. Yeah. Kind of truck. I don't know. All I know is it was black. What they say when you told me to leave? They couldn't believe it, but they just did what I said and put it back, and they left. But what did they? What did they say anything? Oh. You didn't ask why they're taking the fence? Well, I knew why. Dude, these people are doing this. You wouldn't believe how many things that come up missing. Just 
Chance causes a lot of issues on the internet. Yeah, no, I understand that. Yes, you do. Hey, mouse! I don't cause these issues. They do this to us. We've been here 113 times. I've seen your YouTube videos, yeah, man. You and I've seen your videos. Hey, go on, go upstairs. Fucking joke. You don't know what the hell is going on, man. You don't see that you guys so. are Go upstairs. No, I'm tired of people think I'm a fucking joke. You clearly don't see what these people do to me. Okay. Let me go do this work. Yeah, I'm going to wait in the cruiser. Okay. Y'all need to start fucking doing something, man.
Fencing and that stolen? Uh, it wasn't stolen, it was taken down. More than likely, uh, Champs had something to do with it. This was online stuff. Because they're, they're claiming. Uh, he's... What is even going on? I only know half of the story. I don't know all the story. I don't know what's going on. I only hear hits and beasts. All I know is I'm my stuff is becoming missing now. We've they're stealing here. my stuff. We've been here 113 times since we got this new system. He's, he, he has mental issues and, and whatnot, and he, he causes a, a bunch of issues online because we get calls from people out of state saying that he's threatening to kill people, suicide, whatnot. So that's why we're constantly out here. You know, Is there something we can do? Uh, victim. Because like if you look at the screen here, um, harassment, meet a party, welfare check, all these welfare checks are because of him. Um, well, see. she's a super good runner. I don't want her to go, but no, I, I, I don't know what can be done about Chance. What can be done? No, really nothing because that's his mom and his mom's taking care of him. But see, all these issues, this is all because of Chance. Assault? Yeah. Is that to his mom? No. He's hit her before. But she won't do nothing about it. She won't. She won't so, do nothing. Right. So there's um, some somebody assaulted Chance, but we they mm -hmm. he constantly calls in for suspicious vehicles here, or whatnot. Um, so like this is all because of Chance, and this is just this year alone, starting on uh, 5th of January. So I I don't know what's going on with, with the fence thing because she said she woke up, there was a guy that was backed in with the, in the truck with the son, um, and essentially they were taking the fence down and they were taking sections of the fence. She told them to you know, stop, can't do that, yada, 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 you're not supposed to be here. So they took the fencing, put it back and put it back down and they just left. So they, to me, it sounds like they were under the impression that they were allowed to get it. And knowing Chance's history with his online presence, I wouldn't be, so, so she's saying that they're getting scammed, but I wouldn't be surprised, I'll show you this, um, if something had uh, to do with uh, Chance. Is there anything else I can do besides a victim? Um, they ain't got nowhere to go. No, I know. Uh, honestly, not and really. He's a good runner. I, I just want something done with Chance. It's... He had moved to where he currently resides in Akron, Ohio. At less than five feet tall and still living with his grandmother at 31, Chance is one of the most prolific and flaunting law cows online. I'm not intent on making any videos on these internet cool guys, but this story just has to be heard. The troubling and honestly downright disturbing trials and tribulations of this man are truly abominable. From manipulation to complete and utter delusion, this is the story of Cyrax. I can honestly start this video telling stories of any point of his YouTube saga that spans over 15 years, and you would most likely find it just as disturbing as it is concerning. Before 2017, there are only a select handful of videos that are actually archived and yeah, relate to him being some kind of rapper. This is the guy talking about Chance. About being signed his, uh, chance he was at one point allegedly signed with someone, and then over the span of a few months, he's only uh, stolen YouTube all that music, is, uh, the names of the musicians, and completely plagiarizing other artists. He's actually considered to be family. Eric Scrubbolo was one of these people, and he offered to let Chance sign to his record label in so he, he goes on the internet, he makes videos he sorry for Chance, uh, to parents, drum up attention, and he, he's had videos, well, and then he also goes into like live streaming where he's recording things live and people can see it, and essentially like he'll he'll just go on these rants and raves because we get calls all the time from people out of state saying that Chance is going to go shoot someplace up, go kill somebody. He wants to kill himself, like, and it's just garnering attention. He has mental health issues. So, um, let's see. Uh, I'm assuming you got a call from 
she called. The lady, I called the I called the Akron Police Department just a little bit ago, and wanting to see if I could get this handled. Right. Um, and the lady told me to come over here, and the police would meet me here. If you have, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how, how how familiar you are using YouTube or whatnot. I'm not. Okay. Well, you can go on YouTube. Okay. And you can just search Cyrax C Y R A X X Akron, and all these videos are on him. What the heck is that? What is? And and a lot of these videos are people talking about Cyrax and all this, all the videos that he's posted. YouTube's taken down a lot, but, but these are the ones that are just archived. So you can do Cyrax uh, with two X's, Akron. This is a non verified 57587 Dorchester Road, District 8, time now 1247. And all, all this footage of Chance, that's from his videos. So there's nothing we can do about this. Nothing, nothing we can do. Other than the victim, because his mom, she is taking care of him. So he has uh, a caretaker. Well, uh, I can't evict him. How can I evict him without evicting the whole family? No, you can evict individual people. But um, another route I suggest maybe going is please anything. Uh, adult protective services. But. The only issue is that she's taking care of him, but if but she won't do anything, I've asked her to cut. I've asked her to cut off the internet, mm -hmm. and she won't. I've asked her why. She she enables she, it. She well, yeah. She said um, she said why should I why should I have to suffer? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what part of the problem don't you understand? Right. Yeah. And she got huffy with me, and I'm like, whoa, okay, forget it. You know. And I'm, yeah, and so I'm trying to figure out how we can solve this without kicking her out. No, I understand, and you you can have him evicted. Um, well, that ain't gonna cut because he ain't got nowhere to go. Right, so that's I, why we, maybe call Adult Protective Services. So, and just to give you an idea, if I would call that, would it be would I have to give my name and everything? You can remain anonymous. Um, and what would that do? Well, if, if there's enough, so what? Here, here's what I want you to do. We have this new system. We got this new system back in 2019. So we've had 113 calls just on this new system um, since November of 2019. Mm -hmm. We've been coming here well before this new system. Um, my advice would be to go down to the station. You don't need the printouts of the every the notes of every single call, but try and get a list of every single time you've came out, well, we've came out here since um, Chance and his mother lived here. All those calls, um, and, and they can all, and it's, it, it, you can get them listed like this, where it's just all in rows. Get that. I would call Adult Protective Services. Let them know what's going on. Um, tell them about how many times we've been out here since this new system. You said how many? A hundred what? Hundred thirteen times with this new system. But we've been coming out here before then. Uh, so get a total number of calls of how many times we have come out here because of chance. Um, and I would give them this website. Tell them YouTube, look up Cyrax, C-Y-R-A-X-X. Um, Can you write that down? Yeah, I'm going to write that down for you. Thank you. Um, Cyrax. I'm just really beside myself. Yeah. Because at least that way, um, they can go online and watch those videos. Um, typically, if APS deems uh, somebody needs like special attention and care, or, or even more, uh, just being thoroughly watched over, um, because of the inability of, for them to care for themselves or cause issues or whatnot, they would take custody of them and they would put them. Uh, in, in a home setting where they can monitor. Because I was wondering if I need to get a lawyer. Um, you wouldn't need to. I mean, uh, if you're going to evict them, um, you would just have to go down to the county. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I want him to get help. Right. So, but as far as this fence, there's there's not much we can do about that. 
I've already called my insurance. Okay. I have a five hundred dollar deductible, so. But why why would I get another fence for that for somebody to come to try to steal that one down too? Well, it, that's the thing. I don't even think it's. You know, they, they're not stealing. I'm. Well, it is stealing. They're coming on my property. No, it's because of chance. I know, but they're still coming on my property. But chance is allowing it. To. Did Did you ask Chance if he did this? He He, he started coming up some con concoct story. But he goes, no, when I'm talking to mom, she goes, like, we're being scammed. And I go, are you sure, Chance? Because uh, she locked Chance in, in the house when I was talking to her in the back. Uh, I go, are you sure Chance didn't arrange something with somebody on Craigslist? She goes, no. And Chance says, no, that's not how it happened. Yeah, that video of the Bell Store is talking so about. So he, he concocted something with somebody on there. You know, she did, she's had to change her phone number so many times okay and so the, this last time she she uh, did these people found out her number and and they're bothering her and they they're they're bothering me too they're calling me mm -hmm. and i just don't answer i don't answer any phone number i don't know so i just don't answer it yeah. but it's them it's it, it, it could be any whole host of people too this chance has been doing this for years Tell me who I need to call or get a hold of, too. Like I said, I'm, I'm writing all this down for you. Um, you can call Adult Protective Services to see if they can help you out. But if not, um, if you want to stop dealing with this, next step is just to evict them. Number two. Number two. So, because... And the fact that the two men that came here in broad daylight pulled in the driveway and casually were taking the fence down to load up. And then when she came out and stopped them, they unloaded the fence and they put it back down because she told me you're not allowed to take it. So it's not like they were coming here just to steal fencing right there because you can go you, you can go to the vacant home and take the fence. And there's Did nothing. you happen to talk to these people? No, they were they were gone. So I asked her, I was like, you know, did they did you talk to him? Like, would you, did you ask him, like, what's going on? And she said, um, she's like, no, I was, I was asleep. I heard banging. So I woke up and I came outside and I saw them taking the fence down and loading it up. And that's when she stopped them and they said, okay. And they put it, put it back down. So if they really wanted to steal it, they wouldn't have unloaded it. They would have just drove off with it. But they put it back down, placed it next to the garage okay. and left. So, from the way things sound, it doesn't even sound like it's really, truly a theft, but when Chance was listening, he says, no, this is what happened, you know, when I was on the internet, essentially, is what he said, and mom cut him off. So, so people trying to steal her cars and whatnot, suspiciously. At any point in time, if ever um, there is uh, anything that you can take him away and take him to get him some help before I can do something about it, if there's anything, I mean, you can't do anything about the internet or no. nothing, huh? nothing about cyber or whatever that is. I mean, I don't know nothing about Freedom of speech. So uh, until he, made, uh, he, he, knows how the, he knows how the game works. He knows how the system is. So unless he says something in front of officers that he wants to hurt somebody or he wants to hurt himself, we can't ping someone. Have you seen anything like him saying that on the internet when you, with all them things you I, watching? I, 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 I haven't watched enough to where, because I, I honestly, I I'll be real with you, I just don't want to watch this trash. I understand that. So. I, I need some help. I don't, I don't know what to do. Yeah. So. I've so, called the police, I've called my insurance, I don't know who else to call. This is the first time I've got involved, because now they're taking my property. They've taken, they've taken my bricks too. I had, I had all, well over a hundred bricks, and they're gone. So that's because of chance.
black man hitting foul owner. So Adult Protective Services, that's the phone number. Uh, I wrote down YouTube, just search the name Cyrax Akron. His stuff will pop up. And then 113 calls for service. That's 113 times we've been here, like I said, since um, this new system. But uh, I can't remember how long How long have they been living here total? Um, about 13 years now. Yeah, so we've been here. Because I remember we've been coming here since I've been on the department. And I've been on for about nine years. So I've been coming here since I've worked on the west side. I appreciate you. No problem. No, no, we're, we're, we're here to help, but... Um, I'm sorry that you have to be called out here all the time. I, I'm sorry. It, it is, and, and I'll, I'll be frank with you. I know me, I'm not going to speak for any other officers, but for myself, uh, I get irritated every yeah. time they call. Um, and I'm, I'll be honest, I'm very short with them because I know his antics. We, we all know his antics because of the internet. Yeah, you can pretty work antics. The, the stuff that he does, like making threats about hurting people, shootings, and killing himself, whatnot, because people from out of, like I said, we come, most of the times we come here is because people from out of state are calling us to, to do these welfare checks. And like the suspicious vehicles and whatnot, because um, his mom will tell you that, you know, people are trying to steal her car, and I honestly think that Chance, whatever he's doing on the internet, is telling people to, to take it or whatnot. But my my honest advice is, if you don't want to deal with this anymore, um, you want to stop. I, I want would, you to hear this. I would have. This is one of the one of the calls I got. Um, I saved this one. So, honestly, like some, my advice is to evict them. Like, if, if, if you want it to stop, and, and if you're getting harassed, not harassing calls. And they would kick off the internet. I think that would solve a lot of it. It would solve all of it. But she won't. Right. She enables So them. should I give her an ultimatum? Either you get off the internet or you're going to have to leave. I've never had to. I, honestly, like I said, I, me personally, I would just evict them. But that's, that's my personal bias because I've been out here so many times. But for you, like I said, for you to, to not want to do this because if you, you said it yourself. You told her numerous times to, you know, hey, get off the internet, get off the internet. She refuses to do it. So. So I'm I'm going to be doing a miscellaneous report for this incident. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to have to look further into the state code. But she says they're getting scammed. But my, with my knowledge and history here, I don't think she is. It's chance. But um, I can potentially do a criminal damaging report. So. What are you going to do to help me out, sir? I mean. Yeah. Uh, let, let me see this thing before I... Yeah, you're going I've, I've just had enough of it, and when they stole my, put down the fence, that, that was it. I made a call to the Akron Police Department. I need to get this resolved. And... Let's report on it.
But, you know, I'll get that done for you, let your insurance company know. But, like I said, my advice is if you want this to be done over with, I would have it personal. Because she's not going to turn off the internet. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay. All right. Well, I'm really sorry. It's all right. It's not your fault. Well, good luck with everything.